All right guys, so it's currently Thursday evening. I'm midway through my first week of intermittent fasting. And something new that I've been doing for this intermittent fast is the, he's using a home delivery system for food uh, through a company called Home Chef. Now, in no way am I affiliated with them. There are multiple companies out there that can deliver you food if you choose to go this route. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys making, me making dinner and kind of explaining some benefits as to why I've been doing this. So today I'm making some Japanese sirloin steak and I'll take you guys through it right now. I guess so one of the coolest things that Home Chef has done is that on your first delivery they send you a binder and in this binder you get to keep all of the recipes that you accumulate through time in it. Um, so each recipe sheet is pretty cool because they give you the instructions on how to cook every single meal as well as the nutritional information like uh, such as things like calories and your macros as well as sodium and allergy information that you might need. So there's a wide variety of recipes that you get to pick from but today we're making a Japanese sirloin steak. So here I've just separated out my sirloin steak from the rest of my meats. And I've also acquired my little baggie that contains all the side items. Now there are a few different things that we're going to be needing for this meal. And that is salt, pepper, and some olive oil. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cooking the rice. And the reason why I'm doing this is to save time as the rice takes the longest to cook. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boil some water in the rice and once it reaches a boil I'm going to lower the heat and let it steam for about 18 to 20 minutes. Obviously a significant amount of time and like I said before that's why I'm doing it first. Obviously when you're cooking things try not to make a mess as I have done. You don't want to mix your ingredients prematurely and potentially spoil anything. Obviously this is just water but I'll just be careful as I've said before. The next thing I'm going to be doing is cooking the carrots and the first thing you should always be doing when you are using vegetables or cooking any vegetables is you should wash them just to make sure that they're clean, remove any extra pesticides or dirt that might be on them. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to chop them into small little cylinders and eventually place them on a medium to high heat skillet. And I've also included some water in there I'm going to about to add in some brown sugar and butter to that water and that's just going to kind of help make that glaze um, and mix well together. And so basically what I want to point out here is that you get to choose how much butter and brown sugar you want to add. Obviously if you're going a little more calorically conscious, you can decrease the amount. Uh, if you feel like you need more calories, in particular fats or carbs, you can go ahead and add those. Um, but for me, even though I am cutting, I did want to add these because for the whole purpose of trying out this meal, I feel like I should go all out. And it's not too hard to accommodate these things um, into my diet as I'll just kind of I adjust my macros accordingly for other meals throughout the day. So here I'm just kind of steaming them all together and uh, giving it a few minutes to cook. Obviously topping it as you saw there. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is cooking steaks. So I've just started the steaks. Uh, as you can see the rice cooker is now gone. I'll show you in the next bit video uh, what I do with that. But basically what I'm adding here is some extra, or, uh, extra virgin olive oil. And as I said before, you get to choose how much you want to add in. Here I've added in one teaspoon, which is what the recommended, this is the recommended amount. And I'm also seasoning the steak with some salt and pepper. I do this all in the pan, it's kind of a personal preference. A lot of people like to season before they put it onto a pan, um, but whatever, I just do it this way because that's how I've always done it. Criticize me if you want. But anyways, uh, one big thing I like about uh, the Home Chef is that it gives me the ability to cook, but also saving time by preventing me from going to the grocery store. Um, one of the ways it does save me time is that each kind of recipe that you do get, it comes with two servings. Now, I think what they intended with this was that they would just provide you with a meal for you and someone else. Um, but for me, it works out really well because not only do I cook myself a meal for the night that I make it, but I'm also making myself a meal for the next day or a future day. Uh, where I can just put it into a meal prep container, save it for the next day or whatever day, as I said before, and quickly just throw it into the microwave and have it ready made. That's awesome because when I make these meals, and so far I haven't been disappointed with them, I get to retry and re-experience the great meal that I've made. And obviously with little to no experience, it's also awesome to be able to kind of try out these new recipes and make them to a decent standard. Um, obviously I'm not going to go for a perfect presentation, but um, you know, just learning things along the way. Alright guys, so the net last thing I'm going to be making is the sauce. Uh, here I'm adding in some water, and this is going to be a mirin demi glaze sauce. So obviously I'm going to add mirin in, I'm going to add demi glaze in, I'm going to add in some tonkatsu sauce, all of which are provided in the kit. This is all going to be added to water at a high heat, and which uh, I'm just going to use that to thicken up the sauce and eventually add it to the steak. 
uh, using sauce. Obviously provides a lot of flavor to the dish, but it's also really cool and something I've never dipped my feet into as of yet. Anyways guys, this is pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, I just wanted to start off this shredding series with cooking because I feel that cooking is very important uh, when it comes to cutting. I believe personally that it's about 80% of you losing weight, eating the right macros and eating the right things. And uh, this has been a new method that I've been trying for this fast uh, slash cut period that I'm doing. Um, like I said before, I really just want to learn how to cook. I'm kind of cooking things that are pretty well aligned with my diet. And obviously, um, they're still very flavorful and I'm learning along the way. So for me, I just recommend trying it out. Um, in terms of pricing, I found that I've been spending about $90 per week for uh, four meals. So four meals at two servings, so really it's eight meals. And so, yeah, they turn out decently. Obviously, I'm not going, like I said, for perfection, but it's something that I can look forward to each day as not only am I learning, but also creating a meal that's pretty decent for myself and different from everything else that I've kind of made. So yeah, go ahead, give it a try. See you guys in the next video.